we actually went through the trouble of trying to, to really understand how we go about decoding an instruction to, to, to derive the machine representation or the machine the representation of that same instruction um, as executed or seen by the machine. Right? We know that uh, the machine executes or works with ones and zeros. But when we're dealing with uh, assembly language, when we're studying these things, we had to abstract the ones and zeros by looking at assembly language programs. And we realized that we can actually derive what the machine sees, right? the ones and zeros, the streams of ones and zeros, specifically the 32 streams of ones and zeros. Right? So, and it's quite easy, really, if you know the, excuse me, if you know the type of instruction that you're working with, it's very easy for you to derive the machine representation. Everybody in here is, is now able to derive the machine representation of whatever instruction you're given, provided you are given the lookup table that tells you um, um, the mapping of this particular instruction to, let's say, hexadecimal binary. Yes, Mr. Fraser. Is it wrong, Doug? Yes, it will, it will result in the wrong thing. This is why the order is important. But you know that the <coughs> Sorry? But in the way of the Uh-huh. I don't get the question. I mean, um, yes, maybe tell us if that's what I'm guessing he's trying to help you. Tell us if that's what you mean. Yes. I don't think it's clear, but then I thought when we were trying to take oh. into binary, we are supposed to put the most of the definition of the image class and the binary. No. Yes. What? <laughs> Who said that? What do you mean this is what that's what has happened? Look at from a sense machine, we were told there's something that's what? Yes, yes, they are. It's the advantage of the source range is here. I'm, I'm confused. What are you talking about? When we register T2 is 10. What are you talking about? Listen, this, this stream of bits, the first, the first six bits are there. Op code. This is an R formatted instruction. Op code. Why is op code 0, 0? Because all R format instructions have an op code of 0. The second is what? Source. The third stream of five, the, the next five is target, or source number two. And then followed by destination. And then followed by the shift amount. In this case, shift amount is zero because we're not shifting anything. And then finally, six. Yes, but Apple told that, that you write the way you do it, um, you start with the destination when you start with the destination. Yes. There's one that you want. Well, if they do, I, I don't know who told you that, but I mean, sorry? Listen, okay. excuse me. Guys. Doesn't matter who told you what. Lighton could have told you that, but Lighton would have been wrong at that point in time. Keep telling you, don't don't use that as an excuse. Oh, he said, she said, no. What does literature say? You have reference documentation. What does it say? We we've been discussing the order of these things here for what for weeks now, right? What are you talking about? I think the confusion is. Uh, yeah. Uh, the way the the way the system looks at the instruction is different from the way we look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember there's always said that after the whole code, instead of the source register, it's the target register. <coughs> then the source register, then the destination register. In binary. Yes. When you're converting in binary. Sorry, you said what? For example, if I try to convert that instruction to binary. The, wait a minute, I, I might have a, a, a crap. The only things that are probably swapped here is T0 and T1. Yes, which is the... Because T, T0, yeah, this is just a mistake here. The target is T2. Yes, t, the target is T2. The destination is still going to be T2. It doesn't change, yes. but, but these things are swapped. And there's one way of finding out if what you're doing is the right thing. All you have to do is you come to QD spin, and am I, are we going to do this, by the way? T1 
changes? Who changes? Right? Who changes? <laughs> he said, she said. <laughs> I, I was I was almost thinking that uh, excuse me, I was almost thinking that there was there's going to be a, a, a nice way of looking at the user text. Um, binary, but he said she said. There's, there's bound to be an online. Uh, has anybody come through, come across an online calculator that that does a conversion for you? You have, right? Who's that? Who said yes? Yeah, yeah you did, right? <laughs> I don't want to waste time uh, doing things. So here's the thing, right? If I one way of trying to find out if what Nonde said or what Lighton said is wrong is you can use something like this, right? It allows you to punch in, um, it's allowing this particular nice, nothing fancy here, it's allowing you to, um, to get the, the binary representation what the machine sees, right? So in this case, hopefully this piece of text here that you see here should be the same as what we are seeing um, in here. I did mention that I swapped, I think I swapped T0 and T1 here, so Hopefully I've fixed it now. If I copy this across, um, it should be the same, hopefully. And one way of finding out if it's the same is segment them like so. Right. So don't listen to light on or nonde. Read, right? This is this is what this is what we are here to do, to to do research and try and find out what we're doing is the truth. So hopefully this makes sense, right? Decoding of an instruction, very important. If I were you, I would understand this. But hey, again, I am not you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, because this is with the people that invented this, this is how it works. No, no, no. So it turns out if, if so what she's asking, in case people are wondering, let's say what 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 is she ranting about? She's 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 saying, you see, under normal circumstances, we say the instruction is represented like so destination, input one, input two. But but what the machine does is it does this. And then input, right? Input, input one, and then uh, destination somewhere, right? Yeah. Right. So in this case, T two. The reason is, if you think about it, the first thing here, the, the line number one is almost exactly the same as the mathematical representations that you you are used to. A is equal to B plus C or A is equal to one plus two. It's a lot easier for you to understand what's happening when you represent an instruction like this, rather than if you say this, it's confusing, it's even much more confusing, right, so. But it turns out that the mapping is, is the way it is because the, the, the different segments, the different bit segments serve different purposes for the different instruction formats. So it has to be a way of optimizing, optimizing things and making sure that you can reuse them when you're working with an R formatted instruction. Okay. Hope that makes sense.